Mm -hmm. So handmade pasties. No, I showed you this. I tried the uh, samosas. It's pretty a vegan food day with donation. Okay, good. They are really good. Yeah, yeah they're, they're very good as well. So, uh, so where, where are you guys from? We're from Nottingham. Would you like a leaflet by donation? Okay. No, no, just uh, tell me. I, I've got it on video. What's, uh, what's the website? <laughs> it is on there. But that's our tour. Go on, take one. I bet you can fit Okay. Somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know where everybody's going. It's like, uh, are they? Are people just sort of, uh, are people just sort of uh, marching whenever they want to? It said that. Uh, it is. <laughs> okay, this is actually getting uh, confusing because uh, there doesn't seem to be a um, rhyme or reason about where they're going to be uh, marching. It's at uh, 12.53 now. Some people started marching, others actually are still behind me. And are we going to be joining um, um, a bigger march at the front? I'm not sure, so the bigger crowd. Ben, okay, please. Well, I uh, will stay with you. Peace begins. Are you staying with the food is? Anyway, I'll follow the uh, veggies uh, catering campaign. They do have some nice, really nice samosas. I think what's happening is we're gonna end up uh, going to uh, to a main the main meeting point. We shall see what happens. Whoop, more crowds up there. One thing I can say is that I don't feel cold, but darn, my hands are frozen. Maybe I should have brought, uh, brought some gloves.
Thank you, Anya. Thank you, everybody. Okay, global women's strike over there. Try don't. Hello, how's it going? Awesome, you're back. He was in the Philippines as well. Yeah, exactly. So, how was the. Uh, hello, Steve. So, how was your uh, holiday? <laughs> it looks really. My guy was amazing. We're coming back from the future. We're mutants. Yeah, mutants. There's no NHS. There's to help been a nuclear war. Okay. okay. So, uh, atomic blonde, yeah? Atomic yeah, yeah. Blonde, yeah. Mutations, <laughs> radiation. I've got all these weird, painful sacks, and it's yeah, just. Yeah, yeah. This isn't normal. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't. Oh, okay. And, and us. Yeah, no. So we've come back from the future. <laughs> so I warn you guys not to spend money on nukes. Nuclear arms race right, will be taken. Try don't. Try don't. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I would say that uh, how long did you stay in uh, the country? Two months. Two months. Yeah, no, I had, uh, we were there for three weeks and I uh, was thinking, okay, next time. So I felt guilty enough by, uh, you know, uh, not. I felt guilty enough by, you know, uh, flying in yeah. the first place and I was only there for three weeks. Yeah. So hopefully next time, uh, I haven't Try been back to 91. Yeah. That's Might be. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I know. It's like, it's just something like 800 quid or something. So 800 quid. Yeah, a little Ouch. bit more than, yeah, but it's an adventure and it's not using air miles. Yeah, my girlfriend did that and she said it was it was wonderful. But yeah. maybe yeah, at some point I will. At some point I will. It's not really about where you're going, I think, with that. It's more about the journey, like... Yeah, definitely. I, I was just reading about that woman who, um, was it, uh, she was on maternity leave for 10 months and she decided to just go backpacking with her new baby. I'm thinking, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah that is awesome. Wow, it must be, cool. must, must be good for the baby as well. Anyway, yeah. let's go. Let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you, man. Yeah, exactly. I love the photos, especially yeah, you. You look, you look like a... Like a mermaid. Yeah, <laughs> we were doing free diving. We did like a proper free diving course. It was amazing. Really? Yeah, oh wow. Okay. Really cool. We've done it before, but now we like did it proper. <laughs> okay. You know, like proper safety and stuff. Ah. Uh, and I, I did actually when I was in the Philippines. It felt uh, I felt ashamed, embarrassed, angry at the same time yeah. because of the things that they're doing there. Yeah. What the hell? Just to profit from the uh, tourism, at the same time, the tourists saying, "What are they doing this for?" It's like it's uh, it's like they're destroying what people are there to uh, to, uh, to visit. Yeah, I know. It's like how how long are you gonna do this for? Because it's not gonna last. But... Yeah, exactly. That's why I think it was my last chance to see the Philippines before yeah. it gets destroyed. It's scary, and, uh, isn't it? To yeah. actually think that way is really it's crazy. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go there. Nice see Okay, so we've found the main crowd. Okay, I'll take this over there. Okay, fantastic. Whoa, so is that, uh, what, sorry, what's the uh, leaflet? Uh, what's the leaflet about? Refugees welcome. Yeah. Okay, uh, what's about, sorry, can you uh, tell, tell my viewers? Saturday, Saturday 19th of March, UN Anti-Racism Day. We're going to be out on London. Yep. Refugees are welcome here, no charge. Yeah. 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 Refugees are welcome here, no to racism, yep. Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. Yep. Racism divides us when we need to be united against a government that wants to push war on austerity. Yes, definitely. Uh, okay, oh, so they can actually, uh, refugees welcome, yep. 19th March, Saturday, yes please, and that could be on Facebook, With Twitter and Facebook. Uh. Yeah, check out Facebook, Stand Up To Racism, and our website, standuptoracism.org.uk. Um, we've got rallies going on all up and down the country to build for this demonstration. There's a large percentage of people in this country that reject racism and they're going to be out on the streets. Come join us on the 19th of March. Okay, thank you so much. You Check much. it out. Thank you. Colin, how's it going? <laughs> Hello, Hello. 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 Nice to see you. Okay. Yeah, united against freedom. Uh, that's it. And it's just not right in. Okay, we'll do. Oh.
Hey Cameron, really everything when it comes to weapons in your arsenal. Yes, it is a phallic symbol. It's a postcard keeper. Okay. Weapons, arsenal, arsenal. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And the other one? It's not quite as cheeky that one. You don't judge a country by the size of their weapons. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I see if I can uh, go to the front. They're supposed to, according to Facebook, something like 9,000 people have said that they'll be turning up. So, so it should be fun to see how many people are here today. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay. Live stream. Live stream. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, so um, there's a lot of uh, Green Party uh, uh, against Trident uh, placards there as well, along with the socialist workers and uh, the other stuff. Uh, left Unity, of course. I like the Left Unity uh, uh, placard. Actually, it's pretty good. Limited edition. No nukes. NHS, not Trident. Oh, definitely. I will support that one, definitely. Yep, Trident won't protect you from Wall Street or the City of London. Yeah, guys thank you so much for uh, joining us uh, if you could just uh, keep uh, sending this off tweeting it out sharing it on Facebook the more the merrier Walking, still walking forward. See, let's let's see if we can uh, get to the to the front, okay? So I say, if there's about 10,000 people, it should take about 20 minutes for them to uh, pass me by. So we'll see what happens. I don't know whether they've started. It's five past uh, one already, so they may have started uh, marching already in the, at the front. So what do, what do we need? Homes, jobs, and what? Education. Education. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you, sir. April the 16th, that will be a rally. Okay, April yeah, thank you. Right. Homes, jobs, and education. That's what we need. Homes, jobs, and education. <laughs> Definitely it's a good turnout. Okay, Harry Krish is uh, starting to uh, give out food again, which is always good. Cakes are nearly gone, but there's still some, uh, some other stuff. <laughs> and it's always enjoyed by the crowds. Enjoying the food, sir? Yes! <laughs> I can't stay away from the food. I uh, had a bagel for uh, breakfast. It's a, a bit old. I'm all safe. Thank you. How? Oh. Okay, the youngest activist is here as well. Yeah, she got a special bib for today. Drop cookies, not bombs. <laughs> <laughs> We 
Sadek Labour against Trident. Let's see if we can find Waltham Forest against Trident here. Uh, I remember that Stella Creasy was actually uh, part of the cooperative party and part of the Labour Party. MP uh, is uh, one of those who voted to actually bomb Syria. So it's one of those people actually think that uh, bringing democracy is a great way to uh, you know bomb people and uh, you'll bring them democracy. Other people. Okay, so actually, I think the uh, the march actually has uh, gone forward already. Oh, sorry, guys, didn't manage to uh, get to the front, but uh, we'll see. Once the uh, people get to um, Trafalgar Square, we'll hear the, some of the speeches. I believe Caroline Lucas is going to be one of them. Uh, not sure how it's a uh, bit of a problem there. The fact that uh, they're having um, their fir their uh, spring conference at the same time that this is actually happening. Can you actually, you know, changed it? Uh, or perhaps had this march uh, last nice. week, something like that, you know? Ah, no battery, okay. Tell him to uh, pick up uh, a power bank. That reminds me, I'm on 34%, I need to actually... Uh, I need to put this. I need to uh, charge the, uh, the phone. Oh, and yeah, hi. Uh, nope, I haven't seen, I've not spotted the Corbin 50 plus supporters yet. Just uh, put my, the charger back on and we are off. Sorry, how far ahead are people anyway? We've grown for about eight minutes. Eight so minutes, so they'll be going for eight minutes now. Okay, pretty good, thank you. So they'll be going for about eight minutes now. So uh, if it reaches 20, that means about uh, over 10,000 people. Hi, I'm Key. How's it going? Uh, please, if you can, uh, <laughs> post it up on YouTube for uh, the occupied sun, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, you 
nice. So, how have you been? All right, yeah. Okay. okay news, okay. peace, news, uh, non-violent climate march conflict. Yeah, I see you were in the. Uh, been on holiday. Makes a bloody change. Yeah, no, since '91. <laughs> Article in there, we can stop drive and replacement. Okay, oh, fantastic. Thank right. you so much. I should see you. Okay. okay, well, we don't know yet. That's according to Facebook. So, uh, uh, I usually do it that if, uh, if, I, uh, if people march in a wide road. Uh, and they're still going through for about 20 minutes, then that would mean uh, that's about 10,000 people. But it could be more. Part of a million different during the 80s, but well, that uh, you have to actually uh, blame Thatcher for that one. So we'll just see. And we have uh, the wonderful Dave Plummer there for the Green Party. How's it going? Which which Green Party are you part of now? Um, Epping Forest. Ha Epping Forest. Well, at least you have a forest, which is good. It's totally Tory. I'm certainly the UKIP. Oh God. Then I think we've got uh, I'm in Barnet, and that's actually to uh, Tory. Very, very Tory. I miss lovely Lefty Lewisham. What can you do? <laughs> well, it's okay. It's actually it's, uh, yeah, big houses, but at the same time, I'm thinking, okay, this might, uh, if you can persuade some of these people to actually, um, uh, you know, support NIMBYism, that might be a good idea. This is true. This is true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dave. How's it going? Ah. <laughs> yep, definitely, please, people, uh, future actions like these, look for the hashtag OLSX. Uh, follow us on uh, Twitter, OccupyNN. If you could uh, keep retweeting this, it goes straight to uh, CND UK and STW UK. So hopefully at some point they will retweet it. And then the, for those who can't uh, make it today, they will be able to watch the live stream. <laughs> it's always good. Unfortunately, uh, we, keep, we do keep meeting people who say, oh, they're not interested in... Uh, <laughs> they're not interested in politics because they're all the same but uh, at the same time when I asked them what so what do you do then they just go down the pub and watch uh, football which is I'm thinking okay that's Orwell's description of the pros football uh, gambling and sex well I just hope that they actually get the sex at least <laughs> yep hashtag is stop trident and I'm doing that a bit windy now. <laughs> People are actually having to uh, lower the banners. It's, uh, it's a bit too windy. Come on, sir. Ah, boy. Anyway, if you uh, people are interested as well, there's uh, uh, there was actually a good um, uh, Barnet Momentum uh, Barnet Momentum uh, meeting. Uh, last Monday, I think, or was it uh, this month? Uh, well, last Monday, and uh, with John McDonald as he's speaking, he's actually uh, very eloquent, articulate. I think to myself, why has this guy been a backbencher most of his uh, time in Parliament? But then, hey, what do you get? It's not actually, they don't like uh, any uh, hint of uh, left-wing politics in, uh, since uh, Tony Blair, really. And uh, on Saturday and Thursday, we had. Uh, we went to uh, the House of Lords to speak about the failures of the uh, UK drugs policy. That's a very good. That was a very good uh, uh, discussion as well with the question and answers. Loads of young people turning up, mainly uh, uh, some actually uh, 
in university at the moment studying the whole thing. One thing out by uh, this um, uh, academic from uh, Colombia, she said that uh, what Colombia needs is uh, land reform. Not nothing to do with the. Uh, uh, they're, they're not going to be able to get anything like uh, decriminal, decriminalization of uh, of cocaine or anything like that because uh, the politicians don't want it, and the politicians in Colombia tend to be the ones that are profiting from uh, from the drugs. These are drug drug barons that became uh, politicians. It's the same thing in this country, really. Come on. Osborne is actually, you know, it's a cokehead already. Will actually they support uh, decriminalization? Not, uh, not likely. Somebody's profiting from it too much. Same thing with Trident. Who's profiting from it? It's not the British people. Somebody's profiting from Trident. I don't know who it is. It's broken. Okay, we're now at the Hyde Park corner and uh, on our way to uh, Trafalgar Square. I love the place. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's actually a longer. Remember, because uh, the climate uh, uh, march was started from uh, this place, and that was whoa, a lot of people. So something like seventy thousand people were marching. This one, I I don't know. According to Facebook, might uh, might be about ten thousand. There might be more. Let's hope for so, uh, let's hope for more. Uh, well, at the moment we are at uh, Hyde Park, so we shall see. Where Green Park is. Where Hyde Park Corner. This is Hyde. This is Hyde Park Corner. Where the climate march started. No, no, no. This is where the climate march started. So you're. Can you describe where you are? Okay, so we're at the head now and then uh, they should be starting uh, the march uh, from this angle soon. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you've got right. inside knowledge, have you? I, I have no idea. Like, uh, Why do they stop here? There's no one here. They want to stop at Lake Hill Circus or something. I don't know. It's actually that they, they need to stop the... We can actually just take over the damn road. I don't know why. So Phil, yeah. okay, Phil's uh, part of the Green Party in Barnet, and uh, is also an uh, activist against uh, TTIP. So, if they actually uh, say don't renew Trident, could the, the guys manufacturing I don't know, the missiles or whatever, or the nuclear weapons, could they use ISDS against the British government because they they threatened their profits of 100 billion pounds in the next 30 years? That could be, well, could be possible because if they see this as a reduction in their profits, yep. and if they're not flexible enough to make other things and decide to have a different business policy, they could be making all sorts of things like medical equipment possibly or whatever. No, but, but that, that, that would still be or pro they could the be profits. providing steel for um, any new railway lines, for including railway lines. Yeah, well, I, I'm just remembering Vattenfall uh, taking well, uh, well, the German okay. government to court because they, uh, the Germans decided to uh, uh, get rid of their uh, nuclear power true. stations. Yeah, that's very true. Well, they could well do because they will see this as, a, uh, as a, an infringement on it. Their, yeah, their profit. Freedoms are made, or the profit they think they could have made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, if uh, if you haven't heard about it, mm -hmm. there's TTIP. Yeah. You can actually uh, use the search engine, the Stop TTIP, No TTIP. TTIP stands for exactly. Transatlantic Trade well, and Investment I've got Partnership. Here in my bag I'm carrying, yep. I would like to show you something on the camera. Okay. This is very, very important. And this is. Can you film that? Okay. Yep. 
Business against TTIP. Yeah. And please note the website at the bottom. Business against TTIP.org. Yes. Remember, people, if you are a small business owner yourself, mm -hmm. you are under threat from the uh, from this TTIP. Exactly. Remember. And I would like to say another thing, <laughs> if I may. Yep. Um, I have given out 120 of these cards. I'm not saying so you can say well done and pat me on the back. Uh -huh. What I want to say with that is that only seven people knew about TTIP when I asked them. Only seven shopkeepers. Yep. Only seven shopkeepers. So we really need to make yeah. sure as many people know about TTIP. We have to fight the... Yeah. Oh, remember British people as well. On the remember, hills, yeah, yeah, and remember British people. Yeah, and, the Tories. And never surrender. Yeah, yeah exactly. The Tories were saying, were claiming that TTIP would actually be good for small businesses, which is a um, complete bullshit. But well, all I can say, um, I don't know how many small businesses there are out there who export and they have a the odd eight million, eight million dollars to spare in case they need to sue. Have they have any trouble with any customers abroad? Yeah. I don't know how many, how many there are. I mean, there aren't, there aren't there 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 any. No, no, well, you'd have to actually be, okay, in order to actually use ISD, uh, let's mm -hmm. invest the state dispute settlement, that's actually for a business yeah. to uh, to uh, to take a government to court, like uh, Veolia, yes. who's based in this country, are uh, suing the, the Egyptian government because they had the temerity to, to want to uh, raise the minimum wage. Yeah. Okay. That's true. <laughs> How does that threaten a bit small business? If your uh, if the uh, people in in your country actually there's a minimum wage, that would mean that they would have more money. I think and that would mean that they would have more money to spend on your shop. And that's how it's uh, the TTIP would actually threaten the small business. That's one of those things. And uh, and well, it's, it's a question I think is making sure there's enough um, uh, buying power in your area for small people who go and spend money. In Small shops, for example. Yep. And if, for example, in NAFTA, uh, I think NAFTA, which is the North American Free Trade Association yep. between Canada and Mexico, 650,000 people lost their jobs. And that would be a, a lot, lot less more. money to spend in the local economy. Definitely. Run by small businesses. Yeah, and uh, we have this thing about the uh, TTIP uh, at the moment. Okay, you have the, um, the steel industry being, uh, uh, being shut down in the UK. <laughs> for, uh, for example, yeah. but for some reason, uh, Germany, Italy, well, actually they're blaming the EU for that, but in Germany, Italy and France are protecting the steel industry, but then under TTIP, that, they could actually be in trouble for that. But the, of course, the UK, which is um, Cameron, is one person who actually loves the, T the idea of the TTIP. He bends over, he bends over for, the, uh, for the corporations, yes, exactly. like the yes. City of London and Wall Street. And it's actually, uh, so they decided to actually just get through the steel industry. That's 1,200 jobs. That's actually 1,200 families times that by uh, uh, by 10. Yeah. Because of the, 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 those people would be, uh, that's about 120,000 people affected by the steel industry being shut down. Yeah. These are not people actually work in, in coffee shops. Okay, these are the people actually work in industry that's actually necessary in this country for to, to even start anything, to start manufacturing, okay? Obi, why are we on the subject of steel? <laughs> the reason why the um, steel works in Britain were shut down in a climate of, let's call it economic Darwinism. Okay. Uh, was that the Chinese have put so much yeah. steel on the dumping steel. market. Because, well, they were actually expecting a big consumer boom in China, okay. which didn't happen. Yep. So I am wondering why, and um, I'm sure the people out there who know a lot more than I do. Well, some people think that the the, the recession has started already um, and started in China. No, what I was what I was wanting to say was that uh, this didn't happen. Was it because of very low Chinese wages? They should have been higher to buy all these consumer goods. Yeah, exactly. Like you've got uh, at the moment, China. You have these. Uh, uh, what, what was it? Uh, ghost cities. 20 million luxury apartments in uh, in China that are empty because uh, no one uh, no one can afford them. Then you've got the the, the Chinese workers who are actually building these luxury apartments, yeah. living in shanty towns. Oh. They are living in the slums. We have uh, it's like it's a uh, we have this situation now where those people in China who are in China who have the money yeah. are leaving uh, are not investing in China. They're taking their money and go, coming to Europe. Okay, they're, of course, they're, 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 they're buying, they're, they're buying em yeah. empty safety deposit boxes in London because well, they think it's going to go up. Buy the, um, 
uh, flats in China. Yeah, but for some um, reason, actually, the... Um, I don't think there are any little green men flying around looking for property to buy elsewhere in the universe. No, they're not. No, like Chinese are buying property over here. Yeah, there's a, money, it's a it's a it's a it's a crazy situation where uh, you know uh, uh, flats are our no, the London property market has become the gold reserve car and uh, even better than gold reserve currencies in the world. Yeah. It's a reserve currency of the world, yeah. and. Uh, and they're How actually, yeah, see, going to yeah it? exactly. Oh, so, yeah, right. you've got uh, supposedly affordable yeah. housing in the UK yeah. uh, being uh, advertised in Hong Kong, being advertised in New yeah. York, being an advertised in, in, in Moscow. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, uh, Olvi, how much of this are you going to edit? <laughs> huh? No, no, well, we're not going to be editing this. It's like a guy that is actually, uh, you this is actually what, live, do you okay? Do you think there'll be a hit later on this one? Huh? Do you think there'll be a hit later on YouTube for this? Nah, uh, I don't understand. YouTube this is actually, uh, there's bamboozer.com, live stream. Bamboozer, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's bamboozer. There's yeah. actually, uh, we're trying to, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the, uh, Opinions of the ordinary people, yeah. and that way we can actually solve the problems in this uh, in this country. Yes, come on. Uh, Cameron is saying that you need to actually uh, what's it? Uh, better a sharp suit, tie, and uh, and what was it? Oh yes, and uh, sing the national anthem like Jimmy Savile. Oh, in, the, in this case, a three thousand pound uh, Savile Row suit, six hundred pound Italian shoes. <laughs> okay, let's go. And uh, and then I'll go. I'll go with you. And 200 pound, yeah, 200 pound uh, uh, shirts. And he can say, yes, we're all in this together. At the same time, he's getting rid of uh, the NHS, uh, getting rid of uh, housing, and trying to actually say that he's actually a better uh, patriot than uh, than Corbyn or anybody else for that matter. Not too many people actually wearing suits today. It's a bit. It is cold. I'm not wearing a suit as well either. I am wearing a, a nice jacket. <laughs> ah, boy. Okay, so uh, anyway, we have a lot of. Uh, it's uh, it's. <laughs> It is full, and uh, I'm having problems trying to uh, walk up to the to the front of the uh, of the demo. Yeah. We shall see. But it's uh, pretty good that we have it. We have the whole thing. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. But in any case, uh, it has been pointed out that uh, we have a lot of uh, problems happening at the moment and each time we are being attacked uh, by, okay, yep, the size of their weapons. Okay, ah, boy. So uh, Colin, I'm just wondering, actually, have you heard of this uh, infrastructure bill where uh, uh, local, uh, well, central government, if you actually tell the uh, local government that they don't, you don't want a development happening, they can use the infrastructure bill to actually just say, no, this is going to be happening. Yeah, well, I know Boris Johnson's overruled a few in the past, so that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, and just, uh, so what's happening in Wandsworth at the moment is like uh, you've got that uh, playground actually been demolished and now they uh, they charge people. And uh, something yeah. about libra libraries as well and playgrounds? Not a library, there's a um, community centre called the Autumn Activity Centre in uh, in Roehampton, which is which is in the west side of Wandsworth. Okay. Uh, they've pulled the funding, so uh, the company that or the charity that are running it called Spurgeons are having to leave, and uh, so we're we're we're, we're trying to keep all the services that they are currently providing mm -hmm. to to keep going. Okay. Uh, and the council, because it's, we've kicked up a fuss, they're like scrambling to try and get other people to sort of come in and provide services but they can't guarantee it's going to be open for half the time it is at the moment That's and it. a lot of people who depend on it are going to lose out so I see now I'm just uh, because uh, there's the Fryan Barnett library which is actually in Bar the Bar 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 Barnett yeah and then the uh, that took uh, what months to actually save it uh, well they the council actually closed it and then a bunch of uh, uh, you know occupiers and <laughs> and, <laughs> and people uh, reopened it and uh, we we opened it up as a library and now actually that they're uh, the council now saying oh yeah that's actually a good model to follow because of the fact that actually you have you can have volunteers to uh, keep a library open run now. 
Yeah, well, it is community no. run, but then it's uh, not as uh, it should it should actually be run as a proper library where there are actually librarians working there. I mean, well, I, I, a piece at a time. They're, they're because it used to be that the council run them and they had the staff uh, that they paid to run them directly. Yep. And but they're they're just kind of like um, separating their responsibility. They're kind of like uh, removing their commitments to us. So they are giving it to other companies to yeah. charities to volunteers. From what I gather, the uh, the Tories in uh, Barnet, which I remember it was Easy Barnet before, they were they actually try for some reason they are happy to. Uh, to get rid of local council and then for them to just actually be having a meeting twice a year just to actually say yes to any uh, funding that they need to which would tend to be uh, people who actually give money to the to the, the, to the local Tory party as opposed like uh, like Krapita. So really what we need, we need, we need the councils around London to actually sort of say no we're not going to accept the amount of funding or the reduction of funding that the central government are giving us yeah we're actually going to stand up for the people in our own in our own boroughs uh -huh. and actually demand that we have more so they need to stand up for us rather than manage us yeah oh yeah there's uh there's 100 million pounds being uh, uh set up for the for uh councils that tend to be uh tory run isn't it <laughs> and plus the fact that we found out that in barney council there was actually um uh, there was a lot more money than they than they thought they had, but they're not going to be using it for actually for the services in, in Barnet itself. That doesn't surprise me. There's always a surplus. Yeah, and I think uh, once we're in Richmond, I'm uh, merging their uh, the councils together, the staff. So that's a bit worrying. So uh, so that means actually there would be more um, even less accounting. Yeah. Anyway, guys, remember there's actually London uh, <coughs> mayoral elections uh, this year in uh, well May. May. And uh, uh, the Barnet uh, Tories were the ones who said, pointed out that uh, if you can't afford to uh, live here, we don't want you here. Uh, but then uh, is that, it was is that their official policy. Uh, well, it's not an official policy. But then uh, one uh, one of the Tories actually said that in uh, during welfare council meeting. State, not a welfare state. And then uh, and then actually none of them actually uh, against it against it him. They, they didn't actually disagree with him. So you actually have to ask. Oh, it's okay. So that means where would the uh, Nurses live. Where would the uh, uh, street sweepers live, or even the doctors? <laughs> Where would they live? Well, they'll live on the on the, uh, the suburbs in the shanty towns. Yeah, okay, would they be bust in and then uh, all in the uh, orange, uh, orange, 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 yeah, orange coveralls <laughs> and all that stuff? Oh, I want to make an announcement actually. Yes, please, yeah. Uh, you know the threat of TTIP, obviously. Yes. And and CETA, which is the Canadian uh, yeah, version, slash EU yeah. version, is actually much further uh, ahead. ahead. So uh, same thing with the TPP. Scrap Trident and uh, save the National Health Service. Well, that was uh, that was passed, wasn't it, a few months ago, and yet Hillary Clinton is, is actually trying to overturn it in America. <laughs> oh, gosh, she. Yeah. So she's obviously feeling the pressure from uh, the public. Yep. But the, but CETA, uh, I think there's a kind of um, an important sort of stage in the in the negotiations that happens in May, sort of soon after the uh, the elections here. The mayoral election. So we're hoping to have a day of action. I think it's on the seventh or the eighth um, of May in London. So uh, we're trying to sort of get other groups involved and have a day of action either on a Saturday or the Sunday. So it's going to be a day after the uh, mayoral elections. Yeah, it's the weekend after. Okay. So I say we're not sure if it's Saturday or Sunday, but we're planning to do something. Okay. Uh, ahead of those kind of like negotiations, and it's one of those key meetings that's coming up very soon after the election. So. We need to have a, a awareness raising weekend that that, uh, that weekend yeah. if possible. Yeah, I'm against CETA. Uh, yeah, the thing is, this actually the TTIP was mentioned very, very, very briefly in that question time on Thursday. Uh, according to like, the European Union. They did point out the fact that actually Cameron's the one actually the main pushes of the TTIP because of the city of London. And then it's, uh, and, uh, the case is nobody knows about the TTIP and then the BBC hardly ever uh, mentions it. Uh, it's actually good if you buy the Morning Star. I would actually recommend that. Buy the Morning Star. They're very anti-EU. At the same time, they have a lot of good information about the, the TTIP. If you don't like uh, buying newspapers, although I would recommend the Morning Star. I disagree with them uh, with them on some things, uh, but they all they have good information. But there's also good information in other websites like uh, Stop TTIP, No TTIP, and of course OccupyLondon.org.uk. We do actually post up stuff about uh, plug, the plug, TTIP plug, as well. Plug, oh plug. yes, we we keep plugging, we keep plugging. Warren wants, yeah, war wants good as well. 
The, uh, the simple thing is, uh, if we're out of the EU, then there's less danger that we'll be vulnerable to TTIP. But that's ah, but then that, actually, that's not, that's, not that's not true because they're saying that Cameron would be very, very willing to just sign the TTIP with uh, the United States with uh, with uh, with no one to stop him. That's actually the problem. I think, uh, and the TTIP once it's signed by Cameron, that's it. That, oh, so goodbye to the, the of, uh, yeah, goodbye to the NHS. <laughs> Oh, I think they definitely want to get out of Europe so that they could they could do things completely, you know, they can make more decisions for themselves, you know, like human rights uh, law, for instance. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like the part where uh, uh, the European Union have just uh, banned uh, arms sales to Saudi Arabia and Cameron keeps coming up saying, oh, no, our, um, our, uh, our uh, selling of weapons to, uh, to every... Uh, it's for defense. It's for defense only. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, defense. Uh, Saudi Arabia bombing other countries actually is for defense. That's like the American mentality. Well, it's no argument about yeah, terrorism, but counter-terrorism. Exactly, yeah. Saudi, Arabia, uh, Saudi Arabians actually uh, supposedly, what, 9-11? I don't know who actually did it, but then they decided, oh yeah, we'll bomb uh, Afghanistan and, uh, <laughs> and Iraq. And they might just have some links with uh, the Islamic State. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so, hey. No matter what, but then are I, you uh, saying that the world is messed up? Is yeah, it is saying? messed up. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, no. The guy who actually uh, uh, made that film and uh, book, uh, Idiocracy. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. It's actually um, it's pointing out that idiocracy has actually has now become reality in the United States. You got a bunch of idiots who actually want Trump as a thing. What the? That's a, sorry, sorry, guys, but that's just ridiculous. I'll let you get him. Oh well. <laughs> Ah, boy. Are you putting the whole thing live? Or? Oh yes, I'm doing it live. I'm hopefully that uh, I will be able to uh, do some editing. <coughs> you should come down to uh, Rohan now on Monday. Okay, oh, we just passed uh, the Ritz, remember guys? The Ritz is where uh, Margaret Thatcher actually died. That's a place actually that hasn't, has never paid the taxes at all. <laughs> so if you blame some... Uh, Say she's died. Yeah, benefit strangers. The Ritz is actually one of them. Yes, there's no public toilets around here. It's a disgrace. Uh, yeah, that's because uh, Margaret Thatcher sold them all, and they they became McDonald's. Yeah, it's a march for an hour, and you can't even go to the toilet. Yeah. Well, there's the uh, uh, I don't know. It's like uh, I think it's a day of action. We should all urinate outside public toilets that you have to charge for, particularly in Trafalgar Square, which used to be free until recently. It's what? They actually they, they started charging at Trafalgar Square. Yeah. That's really, that's crazy. I know. Wait, wait a minute, we actually, uh, uh, I thought I'll piss the charges. I thought, the, the, I thought the British taxes pay to actually keep Trafalgar Square uh, open. You actually have to, how much do they charge you now? This car, well, I, I didn't even get that far, it's probably about a pound or something. Ah, uh, that's crazy. But, uh, I was uh, dismayed, and also I was trying for a piss. Yeah. But I had to say piss on it. Urinate. Yep. Well, piss is actually in action, you actually know. Okay. And I think you're an idiot. That is actually uh, crazy. That, the pro that's the problem we have in this country now. They removed the uh, the bins from the uh, from the underground. Okay, so that means actually people started yeah supposedly terror, terror threats. So that means everybody just sort of uh, dropped their uh, rubbish anywhere. Then they've removed the uh, public toilets. So what happens? People just uh, start urinating wherever they can, especially at night. If you, I mean, so you you end up treating people like animals. Short, yeah, short It is. It's the whole idea of supplying the services. Yep. You, know, you said you pay your taxes, and you know what happened? Well, you pay your taxes for you know yeah, the libraries the, and, the and youth centres and yeah, but, no, but they're extracting the uh, the taxpayer money to actually uh, to pay uh, corporations. I don't know. You even get these people saying, "Oh yeah, they want to uh, what's it?" Uh, voting for uh, certain parties which uh, will remain nameless, saying because uh, that uh, we're paying too much uh, uh, taxes and going to uh, to uh, social security benefits, and they want to actually just reduce taxes to uh, for corporations instead. Okay, you've got uh, Google just paid three uh, percent tax rate, so you're gonna uh, reduce uh, tax rate for everybody to three percent or just corporations. 
Oh yeah. I always look at the the bystanders who look really puzzled. And even the people who think they're gonna they're gonna get a, a bus anytime this this week. <laughs> I think it's gonna take a while for them to get a bus. Jump on the tube. What's wrong with you? Walking is good as well. Scrap Friden. Okay, homemade uh, black card. That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> last minute effort. Last minute effort. It's always nice to actually uh, make, uh, make the effort anyway. Okay, fund welfare. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no, ca cafes, coffee shops don't want to let them in. It's, uh, it's just uh, a situation where they're, uh, they're, they're treating people like uh, they're. Um, uh, uh, yeah, well, they say that there's no such thing as an underclass. Actually, yeah, there are underclasses. Oh, there's your favorite shop. Yeah, for the Mason. That's, uh, I mean, you go to uh, anywhere now in central London, and then every night there would be a lot of, uh, uh, in the side streets, there would be people uh, sleeping there now. You can't, uh, you can't ignore them, ignore them anymore. I, I remember back in the 90s, 1994, where... Um, uh, these American tourists were saying, oh, it's actually, London is so clean. And I think uh, we couldn't see any homeless people at all. Not like New York. Not, a, not, not anymore. That was 94. Now it's actually, uh, uh, what, 20 years later? You go anywhere, there would always be homeless people. United against Friday, Green Party. I always spoke to Hicks, he used to say it. I have to do the homeless, uh, was it the gauntlet? I have to keep like jumping over homeless people. Okay. And they keep like, hand, you know, putting out their hand up, asking for money. He goes, you think I'm going to give them the money, the hard earned money that my parents send to me every week? <laughs> ah. The late great Bill Hicks, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's actually quite, that's actually uh, quite uh, good. Thank you for that uh, information. I have quite Bill Hicks as much as I do Nan Chomsky. <laughs> okay. You're free to do as we tell you. Free to you do as we free to do as we tell you. That's the government line. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks. Uh, and Arky, I didn't even realize that uh, if you change it, the supermarket they they charge ten percent. That's crazy. Are okay, we just passing uh, water stones? Uh, just uh, by uh, picking this. Welfare state, scrap Trident, and spend the hundred million pounds on better hospitals. Save the National Health Service. It's the best thing about Britain. You should put them in there. Yeah, but it's there again. Do you want Trump to control it? Would you like somebody like Trump to actually control Trident? Ask the Tories that. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's one thing that we actually need to uh, consider from the TUC. How come they're not calling for a general strike? There have been two general strikes in Europe already. But for some reason, the UK, the unions are, oh, what? They're, they're wimping out, man. It's like, I don't know. It's like there's still 9 million uh, union members in this country. 9 million people. If all of them said, okay, we'll go for a general strike, 
that would that would that would <laughs> that, that would make the uh, that would make Cameron listen. Who cares about if it's uh, illegal or not? The poll tax was legal and then they stopped it. It's like uh, what was it that? Uh, it's a uh, break. It, the civil disobedience is actually it's uh, it's the it's where it's the highest uh, respect for the spirit of the law rather than actually following a law that's unjust. And that's uh, it is our human right to still be able to uh, uh, to uh, withdraw our labor. No one can tell me to actually oh you need to work today or uh, or you lose your job. That's actually that's a ridiculous situation. You can just walk away from that job. And then, okay, yes, it's going to take a while, but you'll find another one, or you actually set up your own thing, or you do your own thing. It's like, uh, and unfortunately, that's what the society that uh, the Tories have created already. That's uh, Tony Blair and uh, Tony Bl uh, Tory Blair. Tory, Tory Blair, sorry. It's actually, they created a system where uh, everybody's so afraid because they have to pay the rent, they have to pay their, um, uh, they have to pay their mortgage. And so they're actually afraid to uh, to uh, uh, to withdraw the labor. They've forgotten how powerful uh, the unions can be. <laughs> okay, we're now just uh, down Regent Street, St. James. Okay, thank you, UK watching. I did. I have not read that that part. Just hope that the uh, the TUC find their uh, spine at some point and uh, start supporting this thing. I remember when uh, uh, there was a, a worldwide <coughs> action against the TTIP. The German unions <coughs> managed to get quite a really people marching. <coughs> what did London have? A rally for 300 people. <coughs> People working on a Saturday. Whoa, that's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yep, definitely. Thousand teachers, not trident. Yeah, I like that one. And just workers care, not warfare. The young doctor from uh, Question Time on Thursday spoke eloquently and passionately. And yes, definitely, Jeremy Hunt is a liar. But then it's actually uh, not. <laughs> 
Even the right-wing broadcaster Julia Hartley Brewer has pointed out that Jeremy Corbyn is actually uh, sorry that uh, that uh, Jeremy uh, that uh, Hunt is lying. How's it going? <laughs> and this work as students. Huh? Really nice banner. Whoa. You two, you both nice though. Oh my god, look at Lucas is here, uh, SNP as well, and uh, apply to me. <laughs> Whoa, careful, careful. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just need to use that uh, to, uh, to get over to my friend over there. No, he's sorry, can't let no, anyone through. Okay, we'll do. I'm going to go actually the other way. Oh, sorry. The war. Let's go, Pete. How's it going, my darling? Hi, hello. Looking very colorful. Mwah. Mwah. Lovely to see you. So, okay, so you got the. Uh, well, okay. Three, uh, we are the uh, CND uh, stewards and yep. we are uh, protecting the front of the march. All the important people we got here Caroline Lucas and Nicholas Sturgis. Okay, yes. Yeah, we did see that. That's uh, Karen Lucas, Nicholas Sturgeon, and uh, oh, I forgot to uh, apply the Kumri. <laughs> All that lot. Okay. Okay, so we have actually reached the front of the march, so that's good. Yes. We're actually wondering what's actually all the way at the back. <laughs> There was supposed to be a block joining us. What happened? That was where my children and my grandchildren are supposed to be meeting my children and my grandchildren. I hope I will meet them. Well, it's going to be... Jeremy Corbyn. Yep. Uh, had a, pre a previous uh, engagement in Yorkshire. Yep. But he should be coming at four o'clock to speak at four o'clock. Speak at four. Uh, there's a there's a plain uh, stupid I think uh, action happening in today as well. Yeah. Where's that? Wow. Okay. So we'll see. I might I might not be able to uh, stay in uh, Trafalgar Square for now, quite so long. I hope you're coming to the stop races in March. Well, when is that? I think it's the fifth. Second? The 5th of March. 5th of March. And the Kurds are also organizing something because the Kurds are being murdered by the Turkish in Turkey. Yeah. And they want to draw attention to our government that the Turkish government is siding with ISIS. Yep. Yeah. And the Kurds are a democratic gender equality movement. We want to live in peace in the world. Yep. And we want world peace. I think the Kurds are going to be a great help to world peace. We need to back the Kurds. Oh yeah, I, I, I'd agree with that one. Yeah. Okay, maybe uh, some of you guys can do some street captures here. 
So we've got Green Party, Scottish National Party, and uh, Plaid Cymru here as well. <laughs> well it's really good. So uh, I, I presume uh, Carolyn Lucas is here. Uh, Natalie Bell will probably be at the uh, at the uh, Green Party conference. <laughs> I don't know. I think last I heard he was. Is it? Oh, damn. Okay, if I uh, come with you, I'm not sure if I should uh, be at the back or in the front to uh, listen to the, the speeches. Okay, I'm uh, stopping this now. One hour, Waterfogger Square. Back soon. <laughs>